Now, would you join a new political party led by people like Nigel Farage, Boris Johnson, and others maybe like Jacob Rees-Mogg? Because we are now getting indications from a lot of people, including Nigel Farage himself, that this could be a possibility. He actually went on GB News to talk about this. We've already had a lot of rumors about Boris and Nigel Farage. There are massive differences between the two. And Nigel Farage was honest, saying, I don't agree with everything that Boris says, says or stands for. He doesn't like his metropolitan liberal um, ideas, but uh, on overall issues of the fight against establishment and fight for Brexit, he believes that the, the pair agree on those issues. And this could be a, a, a split from the Conservative Party, especially if others like Jacob B. Smart, for example, actually also joined the movement. Let's go to Nigel Farage. There is now a very big opening in British politics, just as there was with Osborne and Cameron, with Miliband leading the Labour Party and Clegg. Yeah. And I used to say 10 years ago, you can't put a cigarette paper between them. And it was, it, and it was that gap that UKIP very effectively filled. Sure. I think the gap between Westminster and the country is now bigger than it was 10 years ago. I think the sense of broken Britain, the sense the health service doesn't work anymore, uh, that people's kids and grandkids can't even get, get onto the housing ladder, I think these things are very, very real. Yep. And so there's an enormous opportunity there. Now, You're talking does... about partnerships. You're talking about going into partnership with Boris Johnson. Well, I disagree with... that? I dis OK, I disagree with Boris Johnson fundamentally on many of his metro liberal views. Mm. But if anybody can turn on a sixpence <laughs> and say they now believe in something completely different, it's <laughs> Boris Johnson. The important thing to remember is this. On the biggest issue of our age, the biggest constitutional question we will face in our lifetimes, most likely, namely Brexit, that Boris actually was on the same side as myself yep. and others. There are now, and I've heard it this morning, major Conservative donors and supporters who say they will never support the party again. Right. Now, you know, maybe in 10 years they will, but they will never support the party again. So there is an opportunity, if Boris Johnson wanted to, and to use, and the good side of Boris, of course, is, you know, well, just look at today's newspapers. Yes. He's very good at dominating news. Yep. He does have personality. He does make people smile. Yep. And if he wants to defend his Brexit legacy, yeah. well, I want to defend my Brexit legacy too. So would there be a possibility of a new coming together on the centre-right, it would be Boris Johnson, there would be other MPs yep. that would join in with this as well. Have you discussed this with Boris Johnson? Not with him directly, no. But I have discussed it with people very close to him and around right, him. So Interesting, right? So, I'd like to get your opinion on this because there will be some people right now leaving comments uh, who still um, would support Boris if Boris goes to the right, especially supported by people like Nigel Farage. There are some people who I've already even moved on from Nigel Farage, saying I don't even want Nigel Farage back. And, so, and there are some people who would actually just say maybe there could be an opportunity for a new political party, something, a new movement. But it really depends on the policy priorities, especially when it's supported by some good people as well. For example, we have a close ally, Nigel Farage, who responded uh, to these uh, ideas, is Martin Daubney, who said... Well, if they do a political party, any new political movement needs to drop the net zero zealotry, aim for energy sovereignty, end the war on the motorists, stop the boats and cut net migration, slash taxes, especially corporation tax, build affordable houses, you know, like the, after 1944, uh, and de-woke the police, and obviously they, the civil service and schools, and of course reform a sacred NHS. To be fair, that list, I agree with uh, almost all of it. And if a movement, if a party actually has the right ideas, and I know some people say, well, Reform UK want to do a lot of these things, not all of them, but some of them. But it's not just about having the right ideas. It's also about having the right people behind it to make sure you actually become popular, to, to actually get the attention, get the support, have some experience behind you. You can't just be a rebel. I mean, I can just stand as an independent candidate randomly or start a small party for no reason and give you guys all the right ideas. And you may say, well, I agree with all this, but that's not good enough. You need leadership, you need charisma, you need teamwork, you need the grassroots. And maybe there could be an opportunity for a group of people. It doesn't have to be necessarily Boris or even Nigel Farage. Um, obviously, these days, uh, I, I don't really mind as long as the right people with the right ideas. Um, but of course, there will be some Boris Johnson supporters who 
uh, would say no, no, no to any alliance with Nigel Farage. But some would be excited about this. So let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.